Okay, welcome to week six. Let's go see how we did on the previous week. So the quiz was not as good as I expected. It wasn't terrible. But um, a 75 for an average, I mean, that's okay. Uh, a lot of you were getting it. I mean, 10 A's, 8 B's, 7 C's. But then, on the other hand, 5 D's and 7 F's means there's also a huge chunk that are not getting it yet. Um, you should be able to figure out by now that about somewhere around a third of the questions are what are the rules for doing X, Y, and Z? And then about another third is <clears throat> the philosophical, why on earth are we doing this? And then the other third is actually interpreting a line of code or writing a few lines of code. So I've kind of got it broken up into chunks. I mean, I, I, it's not exact, but the idea is even if you're absolutely horrible at coding, you should be able to pass this course by doing the other halves. I mean, the other parts, right? Okay, just saying. All right, let's go through. So the first one said, uh, the question number two, do you guys remember what we talked about on the styling of an if statement? Something about curly braces or something? You don't remember all that? Okay. Okay, for about the umpteenth gazillionth time, how many operators need to be converted when there's three operators out there? Really? Do I have to keep telling you this or asking you this over and over and over? By the way, it's been in every single assignment, every single quiz, every single, I mean, you've had this like th three times so far. All right. Um, on the if statement, I was expecting it to evaluate to true if it was inside the range. Some people did the other way around, so I didn't take any points off, but just that's not what I was asking for. And how do you compare strings? Do you do that with the equality operator, or is there some other way of doing string comparison? Hmm. And printf statements. So, um, yeah, using a printf statement and format specifiers is something you're probably going to have to learn. It's not that complicated. I'm not asking you to learn them all. I'm only asking you to learn three of them, okay? <clears throat> and then when you create a file, like we did with PrintWriter, um, where the heck does it end up? I mean, that was kind of a trivial pursuit question. I thought it would be an easy one. Uh, a lot of people had trouble with that. So, okay. And then for the journal, I asked, what built-in method have we been using that generates a value? Do you know what a method is? That would be really, really handy thing to know because a return statement is not a method. All right, good. All right. So let's go look at the schedule as always. All right, so we're gonna to go to modules. We're gonna to go to course schedule. And here we are. So week six is, um, yeah, uh, chapter five and assignment three. Okay, let's go look at assignment three, see what's going on there. Let's go to assignment three. Assignment three has been out there a while. This is a, right, a grade book application that works kind of sort of like this and if you've seen this before hopefully you have this is one of those things where there's a loop and the only way you get out of the loop is if you hit a minus one that means that's the code to get out of the loop so we're talking about loops now aren't we right and you should be able to figure out what kind of loop i'm talking about i'm also doing um input validation so if you type in a number that's not correct then it's going to spit out some sort of a of an error message. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Okay, I got a class diagram out there, and the class diagram is just basically to help you, you know, there's not much to this class diagram. I mean, I got a constructor, I got a, a main, and then I got a prompt for integer, and then a thing called convert to letter. So, is it quite clear to you that once you've generated the average score, that I want you to use a separate method to convert that score into a letter grade, right? That's what it says right there on the screen. I want to use a method called convert to letter. So don't do it some other way. Do it exactly the way I got here, right? Right, okay. 
Uh, let's go look at the, the stuff going on for for week six. So the videos aren't that complicated. Um, this is kind of a an hour and 26 minutes. That's kind of long. Now, this is a philosophical. Now, this, starting in here, um, this starts the more physis, philosophical part of the of the course. Up to this point, it's been mechanical. You know, you put a comma here and you put a semicolon here and you have to do this, you know, that kind of stuff. And now we, we basically learn practically all of the syntax of Java language. And now it's going to be how to apply it. So this is highly, highly, highly uh, philosophical about why are we doing this? And of course you have three different ways to doing this, but I want you to do it this way. And here's the reason why. So those why kind of questions just kind of scream out at you when you're watching these videos, or at least it should. Okay, that kind of makes sense? All right, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video.